Welcome back to Alan Wake, where previously, we, we I, I got separated from Barry and Officer Breaker again. That's just great. This is because the darkness just doesn't want to be killed. It's tough luck. They don't belong on this planet. They, they should go to Mars. They should go to any other planet that... Oh, what? Hello? Someone's screaming. Oh no! Crows! Get away from me! No! Nope! Nope! I ain't dealing with your shits! Damn, that took a lot of damage. It took half my health. The well lit room. Well, why isn't it. Why isn't it high lit? Go, 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 go! Oh. Okay. At least they're gone. Yeah, let's see here. Right. I'm right. ridiculously outnumbered. The searchlight could even the odds. Yep. Take this, you bitches. Why are you just standing there? Are you gonna come at me? Come on! Why are you just standing? Well I'm well it is the light. I mean Even if the light is off of them, they're not gonna attack me. Woo! Okay. <laughs> oh god. The boost. The boost is too real. Oh god. Who? Oh Jesus Christ. I didn't realize there was a boost button. Like, I was just shining the light off of them. Like, they're just standing there. I thought I had to just shine a light on them and be like, Oh, that's like they're done for now. No, I, I use this like freaking light as like a turret section. Alright, you're gonna have time here. Oh, they call it Taken? I didn't know that. Is anyone gonna attack me? Is anyone? I mean, I can see that guy just standing there, but he's not doing anything. These are lazy. You guys are lazy. Why don't you get off your ass and do something? That guy's stuck up there. Hold on. Okay, there he is. Alright, let me get back to the searchlight. Searchlight. No, no, you're, not. you're actually moving. I saw that. Oh, you're dead now. Again! You're just standing there! Man, I could just sit here all day doing this job. I mean, he's not, he's not gonna bother me. Look at him, he just, he doesn't care. <laughs> oh, Jesus, this is the best light ever. Oh, yes, I will! Get away from me, lady! How come old ladies are just taking over the darkness and light? Thanks for making making a path for me. See you later. Heh <laughs> she won't catch me now. Can't stop me now. Good time. I'm in a blast. Oh shit, don't fall. Uh, 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 this way. Oh Jesus. Terrible. Terrible vacation. Terrible vacation. Holy shit. <laughs> no. Jump it! <laughs> it's ridiculous! Jesus. I startled, I startled so hard. Made me turn around. That's okay. I don't need any of this. I don't need any of this! I'm out of here. Oh god. This way. She won't get me in here. <laughs> Her weakness. Let me switch the camera to the side. Yep. Oh god. Oh! She threw a truck at me! No! <laughs> oh Jesus. Alright, done. This time I can do this. I can do this. Oh, I don't think the truck's gonna stop me now! Oh Jesus! Woo! Alright. That's enough of that! Alright, you stop doing crap at me, lady! Oh Jesus. Uh, uh, this way. 
Ooh, that would have knocked my head off. Jesus, I'm coming. Yes, into the lights. Oh, hi, Cynthia. How you doing, Sweeper? Woo! That's some good stuff. You made it. Well done. I'm glad I was wrong. It was a foolish chance to take. Don't worry about the noise. We're safe here. I have right. been after the well-lit room for many, many years now. There is no shadow in the well-lit room. The power is fail-safe, and all the bulbs are numbered and changed regularly based on their make and model. Man. Right. No shadows. What about our shadows? They can stand on our shadows. That'd be weird. We're almost there. God damn it. There we go. Yes, they did. It's my place now. <laughs> it's my place now. Fuck them. <laughs> they were wussies. This is my place. I own the place now. Okay, let's examine the well-lit room. Take it, and I won't need to worry about the room anymore because six, uh, thirty-three, and one eighteen need changing soon, and I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late and I'm tired. And if you take it, I won't. My have God. To The manuscript page was autobiographical, a memory from my childhood. But I didn't write this. It was a page written by Thomas Zane. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. Alan, seven years old, would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, he soon woke up, screaming, the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. She called it the clicker and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this. As he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand, he took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence in a story I had written. So I can get to her now. I can finish this. So Thomas Zane, he knew he with the nature revealed and our chances flow I need time to think about that. Okay, so I can let the mail So he Thomas Zane is like he knows my childhood story but then Maybe, maybe we're in a Thomas Zane story? Maybe this whole time? And that childhood thing with the darkness, the clicker, that is on, and it gives her the darkness. And as I got older, the darkness is exaggerated as being more bigger, as advanced darkness, as, as I would say. And the clicker would be the flashlight that I'm using to get by. And maybe I can probably finish this. We're getting deep, man. <laughs> okay. We're just gonna get to the next episode right away, so. Yeah, I, I knew. I knew. I know. I know what's happening. Two years ago. Oh, dude, I'm super clean shaven. and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. 
Then we'll get One those things. Finer moments of self-deception. I swore to quit drinking. See, I like these kind of moments where I kind of just relax, not fight any, not fight any, fight any. <clears throat> oh man, I'm about to lose my voice. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. The pills worked fast. The prospect of <clears throat> wake started to seem bearable again. Yeah, that's good. So I we'll just get oh. needles in my eyes. I needed yeah. my sunglasses. Okay, I guess my sunglasses are in here. Sunglasses? Are you in here? Oh, okay, they're right there. Hopefully someone won't find me shifty when I'm wearing these. There we go. Oh, yeah. I'm uh, badass now. Sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I can see my <laughs> eyes. Oh, yeah. Like I got them rebands. Hey, hell, it's okay. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. You ready? watch it soon or now I'll watch it now I need something to watch anyways just to calm my mind about some so it's on TV oh god the resolution is terrible that quality I look beautiful. No, no, it is a good read. Look, uh, I'm gonna be honest here. Is that wise? No, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. <clears throat> but this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this might be a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. Does the voice actor, like, look like Alan? Is that what, or like, is Alan based off the voice actor? Look. Is everyone like that? New York hmm. detective Alex Casey. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about this. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard. Always thinking of yourself. You've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. And now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the lady. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No, nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. <laughs> well, congratulations. That's great to hear. So... How's the publicity tour been treating you? Good. Great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Well, you've certainly been on the news a lot lately. Lots of parties and, um... You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Well, you are famous for that temper. <laughs> Well, I did also write several books. <laughs> well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it yet. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all My name is huge on those books. Wake, Sam Lake. Once more, do the face for a Sam. <laughs> and our musical guests, Poets of the Fall. Thank you, and good night. At least I've been funny. I told myself I could live with that. Hey, honey. Did you watch the show? I didn't say anything stupid if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. You want an aspirin or something? Oh, hey. Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? Go back to sleep, Alan. Oh, hi.
What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal. Then you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. It's so not a fun. good idea. Don't go on a vacation. It's too late. This is the past. Damn it! <laughs> and here we are in the present day. The clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms, to make it all right. But why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. Oh, Barry. Barry. Oh. Good luck, Al. Now I'm getting too yet. See you later. When I got out, it was warm and sunny. I had flicked the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. But I no. had to take advantage of the sunlight <laughs> to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I had stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. See, that's that's good. I like that. I like I like where this is going. Oh man, I haven't seen such good. Oh, there's a fucking Verizon port. Go board. God damn it. A delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this, having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death, like Hartman had claimed. There would be no way of knowing. I told myself. It didn't really matter. My course was set. Yep, and now we're gonna get to Cauldron Lake, as they said. But we're gonna stop it right there. So that was, that was that was good. I like I like how this is. I feel like we're about to get to the end. That's nice. I'm here at the dam. Well, I left the dam. Now I need to get to Cauldron Lake. What if did it disappear though? Like. How would I bring the island back? Maybe it's invisible? Maybe I use the clicker and be like, hey! Oh, there's the island! There's a typewriter! Bang, 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 bang! And I make a super good ending, oh my god, Alice is a happy ending, good all that. And then, happy ending. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not sure what's gonna happen, but... Whew! I think I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting more interested in the game a little bit more. Because... When I'm play when I'm before like this, like when I'm start start to play again, I don't know. I'm I, I kind of lose a little bit of interest. I like. It's not bad. It's just like, I don't know. It's it's a lot of this. Maybe I think it's like the fights. I think I think there's way too many of those. It's like, oh okay. I finish these guys out. Let me walk up these stairs. Oh, pff, more guys. Where did they come from? Yeah, but uh, so far I, I'm getting way more interested in, into this part. It seems like it seems like it might lead to something really good here. So, hope you enjoyed. If you did, do something to like button to let me know. Join into the adventures of Warpick 64, and I will see you next time in Alan Wake. <laughs>